from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, September the 20th, 2023. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met today with U.S. President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York City. The sit-down, open to the press, took place at a hotel near the U.N., with protesters outside demonstrating against the prime minister's judicial overhaul. In the meeting, Biden touched upon the overhaul issue as one of the topics the two would discuss in their closed-door meeting, as well as the threat from Iran and the president's commitment to Israel. We're going to discuss some of the hard issues, and that is upholding democratic values that lie at the heart of our partnership, including uh, checks and balances in our systems, and preserving a path to a negotiated two-state solution, and uh, ensuring that Iran never, never acquires a nuclear weapon. Because even where we have some differences, my commitment to Israel, as you know, is ironclad. The two also spoke on the potential of Israeli normalization with Saudi Arabia, with Netanyahu sharing his hopes of reaching that goal and reiterating Israel's commitment to democracy. I think that uh, under your leadership, Mr. President, we can forge a historic peace between Israel and Saudi Arabia. And I think such a peace would go a long way first to uh, advance the end of the Arab-Israeli conflict, uh, achieve reconciliation between the Islamic world and the Jewish state, and advance a genuine peace between Israel and the Palestinians. And one thing will never change. And that is Israel's commitment to democracy. Uh, We will continue to uphold the values that both our proud democracies cherish. Uh, And I think that working together, we'll realize the promise, roll back the dangers, and bring a better future for our region and the world. We can make history. Mr. President, with your leadership, we can make history. Together. 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 Netanyahu met with other world leaders yesterday during the UNGA, including with the leaders of Paraguay, Germany, and Turkey. Netanyahu's first ever known meeting with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, which took place at Turkish House in New York. The prime minister saying that ties between the two countries were improving and that the leaders decided to continue advancing bilateral relations in trade, economic matters, and energy. According to the Times of Israel, their discussion also included the potential of Israeli-Saudi normalization. Netanyahu also met with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, a sit-down described by both sides as positive. Netanyahu calling the meeting cordial, saying Israel remains committed to assisting Ukraine with humanitarian issues, including addressing the challenge of anti-personnel mines. Ahead of the Biden-Netanyahu sit-down today, a number of Jewish leaders and former Jewish organization leaders penned a letter led by the Israel Policy Forum to the president, sharing support they wrote for efforts to broker a normalization agreement between Israel and Saudi Arabia, that they wrote tangibly advances prospects for a two-state outcome to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Signatories included, notably, President of the Rabbinical Assembly, Rabbi Harold Kravitz, President of the Union for Reform Judaism, Rabbi Rick Jacobs, and co-founder of Birthright Israel, Charles Bronfman. And staying at the UN, Israel's ambassador to the world body, Gilad Erdan, was briefly detained after protesting during the speech of Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi to the General Assembly. Erdogan got up and walked toward the front of the auditorium during the speech, holding a sign that read, Iranian women deserve freedom now. He said, I waved in front of him, meaning Raisi, the picture of Masa Amini, who was brutally murdered about a year ago by the Iranian regime after she did not wear a hijab properly. Erdogan then made his way toward the exit of the chamber where UN security escorted him out and detained him for a few minutes. Erdogan called the incident a new moral stain for the U.N. 
Executive Director of United Nations Watch, Hillel Neuer, shared the post, writing one person at the United Nations stood up to boldly protest the butcher of Tehran, writing bravo to Israeli Ambassador Gilad Erdogan for courageously showing the rest of the world what they could and should have done. Israel's President Isaac Herzog hosted a slichot, or forgiveness time, event just ahead of Yom Kippur, the Jewish Day of Atonement, which starts this coming Sunday evening, calling for unity at this time of crisis over the judicial overhaul. Herzog saying these days oblige us to do soul-searching. The state of Israel, he said, is in one of the most difficult situations in its history as far as Israeli cohesion is concerned. And the time has come for us to act in the spirit of the days of mercy and forgiveness, abandon the discourse of polarization and isolation, and do everything to get out of the crisis together. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, September the 20th. At 7 o'clock, it's Talmud study. At 7.30, Yehuda Kurtzer talks about the concept of the Big Tent in Judaism. At 9, Rabbis Chaim Steinmetz, Lauren Grobel, Herman, and Marcelo Kormis talk about the Jewish understanding of God ahead of Yom Kippur. At 10.30, Rabbi Eugene Borowitz weighs in on the same topic. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, September the 20th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.